In the world of bodybuilding and Hollywood, few names are as iconic as Lou Ferrigno. Known for his incredible physique and role as the Hulk in the 1970s TV series, Ferrigno was a true legend in the fitness and entertainment industry. However, behind the fame and success, there was a man who struggled with his demons. What dark and frightening challenges hid in the path of Lou Ferrigno? Join us as we unravel the life and tragic end of Luo Ferrigno. The inspiring journey of Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno was born in the bustling city of Brooklyn, New York, to Victoria and Maddie Ferrigno. Maddie, his father, was a police lieutenant of Italian descent. Lou's early years were marked by a series of ear infections, which led to a significant loss of hearing, about 75%, although this condition was not diagnosed until he was three years old. Growing up, Lou faced bullying from his peers due to his hearing loss. They would mockingly call him Deaf Louie or Deaf Mute because of his hearing and the way he sounded. However, Lou did not let these taunts deter him from his goals. Lou was determined to live life to the fullest and pursued his passion for athletics, particularly weightlifting and bodybuilding. Lou reflected on his challenging experiences, stating, Early on as a youngster, it was difficult, but I am not ashamed to talk about it because many people have misconceptions about hearing loss, like who has hearing loss and what it's like not to hear. So I do talk about it. I think my hearing loss helped create a determination within me to be all that I can be, and gave me a certain strength of character too. Anytime I do a movie or a TV show, I make them aware of my hearing loss at the beginning, and that makes it much easier for all of us to communicate and get the job done. Lou's resilience and willingness to openly discuss his challenges demonstrate his admirable strength of character and determination to succeed, regardless of any obstacles he may face. At the age of 13, he began weight training, inspired by bodybuilder and Hercules star Steve Reeves, whom he admired greatly. Unable to purchase weights due to financial constraints, Lou Ferrigno creatively crafted his own. He utilized a broomstick and pails, filling them with cement to create makeshift weights. This resourcefulness and determination highlight Lou's commitment to his fitness journey, showcasing his ability to overcome obstacles and achieve his goals. Lou was also a fan of the Hercules films that starred Reeves, and he would later have the opportunity to play the role of Hercules himself. In addition to Reeves, Lou's childhood heroes included Spider-Man and the Hulk, characters he deeply admired and who would later influence his career. Lou attended St. Athanasius Grammar School and Brooklyn Technical High School, where he honed his skills in mechanical engineering. These formative years laid the foundation for Lou's future success in the world of bodybuilding and entertainment. During the early days of his bodybuilding journey, Lou Ferrigno held a job at a Brooklyn factory, where he worked with sheet metal. Although he was dedicated to his work, he found the job to be quite dangerous. Unfortunately, a tragic accident occurred when one of his colleagues accidentally cut off his own hand. This incident deeply affected Lou, prompting him to leave the factory and take a break from the competitive bodybuilding scene. During this break, Lou decided to try his hand at a new sport, football. Despite having no prior experience, he joined the Toronto Argonauts in the Canadian Football League as a defensive lineman. However, his football career was short-lived, as he was cut from the team after just two games. Despite this setback, Lou's determination remained strong, and he continued to pursue his passion for bodybuilding and fitness, from bodybuilding to the big screen. As time passed, Ferrigno's list of idols grew to include Mr. Olympia champion Arnold Schwarzenegger. In his quest to imitate his hero's physique, Ferrigno revealed that he spent hours training with his homemade weights and consuming up to 10,000 calories daily. Before long, Ferrigno became the juggernaut he had always aspired to be. By the age of 20, he had packed on an incredible amount of muscle, which allowed him to win bodybuilding competitions like Mr. Universe with ease. He even competed against his hero Schwarzenegger in Mr. Olympia in 1974 and 1975. Although Ferrigno was unable to secure the admired title on both occasions, he came away with arguably an even better prize. While in the competition for the second time, the bodybuilder was followed by a camera crew compiling footage for a documentary called Pumping Iron. 
The film caught the attention of a TV executive named Kenneth Johnson when it was released in 1977. Johnson was working on a new show for CBS and was struggling to cast a central role. The character in question, the monstrous alter ego of a meek scientist, had to be inhumanly big. Although their original choice, Richard Keel, certainly had the height for the part, he lacked the bulk. That's when Johnson turned to pumping iron and saw the giant frame of Ferrigno. According to premier speakers, Ferrigno weighed 285 pounds at this point, so he more than met the weight requirement for the role. Additionally, his height meant that he surpassed his shorter rival Schwarzenegger, who also lobbied for the part. And just like that, Ferrigno's childhood dream came true. He was finally the Hulk. For Ferrigno, becoming the Hulk was the peak of a decades-long dream. But many network executives, still uncertain that this unknown actor could play the role, had their fears crushed on Ferrigno's first day on set. Stepping out of the makeup chair, the actor's appearance left everyone in disbelief. The star recalled the breathless reception he received when he first went into character in his 1982 autobiography, The Incredible Lou Ferrigno. He wrote, I was accustomed to people's stares, but this was different. People were intimidated by this green creature. They took a step backward and their mouths dropped open. Playing the Hulk was Ferrigno's ultimate fantasy, though working on The Incredible Hulk wasn't exactly easy. First, the long working hours meant that the star was working up to 12 hours a day. Besides bodybuilding, he also had the thick green makeup to contend with, which was a back-breaking task on its own. On top of that was the temperature on set, which made Ferrigno burn calories unnecessarily and required him to adopt a stricter diet. Also challenging was the fact that Ferrigno was leading a major network television show, despite having never acted before. Fortunately, his co-star Bill Bixby, who played his character's mild-mannered alter ego Dr. David Banner, helped Ferrigno out by teaching him about acting techniques like pantomime. The muscle man soon came to see his more experienced colleague as a mentor, and a lasting friendship was born. One aspect of the character that Ferrigno didn't need help with was conveying the Hulk's strength throughout production. The actor could smash through walls, hurl heavy objects, and shred props with relative ease. Once, while filming, Ferrigno explained to PBS that he even turned a car over himself when the mechanism used to flip it broke down. Yet, sometimes Ferrigno's strength caught the show's professionals off guard. While preparing to be thrown off a 12-foot drop, for example, a particularly loud-mouthed stuntman taunted the actor's seeming lack of strength. In response, the star went the extra mile, hurling the stuntman an extra three feet. Ferrigno recalled, he picked himself up, looked at me and said, that is the last time I am working with that man. Of course, the actor's efforts all added to what would become a classic series. From its first outing, The Incredible Hulk was a smash with TV audiences, and its serious tone even struck a chord with comic book fans let down by the era's crop of campy superhero adaptations. To this day, actors, including Mark Ruffalo, have based their version of the character around the show. For all its popularity, though, The Incredible Hulk couldn't stay at the top forever. After four successful years, it fell prey to a killer of many successful TV series. With the show's ratings slowly dwindling, the heads at CBS decided to pull the plug midway through season five. The cancellation of The Incredible Hulk was especially tragic because the Hulk story arc was left unfinished. Fans were anxious to know Banner's eventual fate, but a guardian angel was spreading its wings behind the scenes. This came in the form of rival network NBC, which saw potential in Ferrigno returning for a string of one-off adventures, beginning with 1988, The Incredible Hulk Returns. NBC's three specials carried on the story where CBS left off. These outings also featured several other Marvel characters like Thor and Daredevil in supporting roles. As a result, these films prefigured the trend for huge crossover superhero movies like The Avengers. But Hulk was undeniably still the hero of these shows. Ferrigno had worked hard to retain the superhero's physique in the five years he'd spent away from the character. Between acting roles in the likes of 1983 Hercules, the star had been pumping iron harder than ever. When he returned to the character, 
Ferrigno told Bodybuilding that he weighed nearly 300 pounds. Though the NBC films generated anticipation, they didn't come close to capturing the spark of the original. To this day, the standalone films aren't as fondly remembered as the CBS series, and Bixby's tragic death in 1993 put an end to the franchise and the chance of the Hulk having a happy end. Undeniably, the end of his show and the loss of a friend would have come as a blow to Ferrigno. The Hulk expands his legacy. After a brief break, Ferrigno returned to the bodybuilding scene, competing in Mr. Olympia in 1992 and 1993, followed by Masters Olympia in the following year. Although it seemed like Ferrigno was sticking to his roots with his bodybuilding comeback, the next decade brought a series of new opportunities. In 2002, he ventured into comedy with a recurring guest spot as himself on The King of Queens. He repeated this role to hilarious effect in 2009, I Love You Man. However, it wasn't just acting that Ferrigno pursued. He also fulfilled a lifelong dream of becoming a law enforcement officer. In 2006, he was appointed as a reserve deputy for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, a role he continued in San Luis six years later. This was a significant milestone for Ferrigno, who had always aspired to follow in his father's footsteps. Ferrigno's legacy as the Hulk remains the cornerstone of his career. With the surge in popularity of superhero movies in the new millennium, Ferrigno found himself drawn back to the franchise that made him famous. Decades after his initial portrayal of the character, Ferrigno made a brief appearance in the first big-screen adaptation of The Hulk in 2003, where the Hulk was played by Eric Bana with the assistance of CGI. However, in subsequent installments, Ferrigno had a more significant role in the character's portrayal. Starting with 2008, The Incredible Hulk, Ferrigno voiced the character in three Marvel Cinematic Universe films, supporting Edward Norton and Mark Ruffalo's performances. Despite the Marvel Cinematic Universe's record-breaking success, Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk, has expressed his dissatisfaction with the newer versions of the character. He believes that the use of computer-generated imagery, CGI in rendering the Hulk for modern audiences, lacks the authenticity and organic feel of the original series. Ferrigno has praised actors like Bill Bixby and Edward Norton for their portrayal of the Hulk, but feels that Mark Ruffalo, while a talented actor, doesn't quite capture the essence of the character. Ferrigno's critique of the newer Hulk adaptations is not widely shared, as the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been greatly popular. Despite being nearly 72 years old, Ferrigno maintains an impressive physique and remains an inspiration for those seeking a muscular build. To achieve a physique like Ferrigno's, a healthy diet and consistent exercise are essential. Even when he couldn't follow his usual workout routine during filming, Ferrigno maintained his perfect body by sticking to his diet plan. His diet consisted of eggs, fish, fruits, vegetables, beef, chicken, and various nutritional supplements. Chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli were staples in his meals, as they are for many bodybuilders. In total, he consumed around 3,500 calories per day. Ferrigno never skimped on his supplements, taking them both before and after workouts. This dedication to his diet and supplements helped him maintain his muscular physique, even reaching a hefty 315 pounds during the off-season. Ferrigno's commitment to his diet and supplements played a crucial role in his physical transformation and maintenance. Additionally, regular strength training is crucial for building muscle mass and strength. Staying strong and fit as you age is important, and Lou Ferrigno, known for his role as the Hulk, emphasized this in a 2014 interview with the Los Angeles Times. He explained that after the age of 35, muscles start to weaken, and the best way to prevent this is through resistance training. Ferrigno's dedication to promoting healthy lifestyles has made him a role model for many fitness enthusiasts. His eldest child, Shanna, is also inspiring others as the CEO of Ferrigno Fit, a lifestyle organization she co-founded with her father. Shanna has inherited her father's passion for fitness. Similarly, Ferrigno's sons, Lou Jr. and Brent, bear a striking resemblance to their father and share his love for acting. Lou Jr. in particular could easily pass for a younger version of the Hulk, a role his father famously portrayed. 
However, Lou Jr. has a different perspective on his father. He remembers him as a kind and gentle person, not the fierce character he played on screen. Despite his friendly demeanor, Ferrigno remains an imposing figure in the eyes of his fans, with an impressive acting career spanning 70 credits, behind-the-scenes challenges. Lou Ferrigno's transformation into the Hulk was a challenging task. Ferrigno endured a lengthy and demanding process to apply and maintain the Hulk makeup. Initially, he had to tuck his hair under a rubber cap and apply Vaseline to his eyebrows to prevent the spirit gum from sticking to his hair. Norman, the makeup artist, described how Ferrigno had to wear an elastic band around his head to secure the appliance after applying alcohol to his skin. The nose was then attached. Applying the facial appliances and caster-based makeup took about 15 minutes. The eyebrows were the last to be applied. Because Ferrigno wore hearing aids, they had to be careful not to get any green makeup in his ears, as it could cause a serious infection. A green bubble cover was created to go over his ears before they were painted. Next, Ferrigno would put on the torn Hulk pants, and the body makeup process would begin. The green makeup, which had a clay-like texture, was water-based. Applying it was similar to finger painting and took about 30 minutes. Then, green paint was applied, and loose muscles were cut back in where they were covered up in spots. A fixture spray was applied to help the makeup stay on during the day. Ferrigno's makeup had to be touched up frequently, as sweat would cause it to run off. There were concerns about the health effects of wearing so much makeup for extended periods. An article in the National Enquirer mentioned Ferrigno's concerns about cancer from the chemicals in the makeup. This was a valid concern, given the number of chemicals and the long hours of wearing the makeup. However, Ferrigno's commitment to health and fitness may have helped mitigate the risks. Norman described the facial appliances Lou Ferrigno wore as feeling like a dead jellyfish on his face for 12 to 14 hours. It's clear Ferrigno worked hard for his success. Just being on set for 12-hour days is tough, but having all that makeup on his face must have been even tougher. Ferrigno's work schedule was irregular. Some weeks he worked only three 12 to 14-hour days, while other times he worked seven or eight days straight without a break. There were even days when Ferrigno had to stay on set for 20 hours straight, which irritated his skin. Sometimes, he had to be on set as early as 3.45 in the morning. Norman explained that the directors wanted everyone there in case they needed to make changes or shoot a scene. Sometimes, Ferrigno would be woken up at 7 in the morning and not used for a shot until the next day. It must have been frustrating for Ferrigno during the Hulk scenes. Norman mentioned that Ferrigno went through several makeup men, once, Ferrigno demanded that a previous makeup guy fry him up a dozen eggs. The makeup man refused, but Ferrigno got his way, and the makeup man resigned shortly after. It's interesting to note that this story was included in the Hulk magazine, as it doesn't paint Ferrigno in the best light. However, it's possible that Ferrigno's treatment of makeup men was just gossip. According to Norman, it's kind of surprising that they would include this story in the magazine, as all Ferrigno did was ask the guy to cook him some eggs, love, loss, and legal battles. Ferrigno tied the knot with Susan Groff in 1978, but their marriage was short-lived, ending in divorce just a year later. In 1977, Lou Ferrigno and Carla Green first met, marking the start of a strong and enduring relationship. Carla was working as a personal trainer, and their paths crossed while Lou was deeply involved in his career, especially during his peak fame as the Hulk. They exchanged vows on May 30, 1981 year after Lou's divorce from Susan. The marriage symbolized Luo and Carla's deep commitment to each other. Their marriage endured for over four decades, a remarkable feat in an industry known for its fleeting relationships. Together, they raised three children, Shanna, Louis Jr., and Brent. Their marriage was strengthened by their shared values and interests, particularly their passion for fitness and health. This shared interest not only kept them physically active, but also fostered a strong sense of mutual support in their journey towards maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Their shared dedication to fitness also led to a joint business venture, where they organized seminars and training programs in the fitness industry. Like any long-lasting marriage, the Ferrignos have faced their fair share of challenges. Lou's demanding career in the entertainment industry, 
with its frequent travel and time away from home, presented difficulties. However, Liu emphasized the importance of open communication and understanding in their relationship, stressing the need for compromise and mutual support. Lou Ferrigno is a well-known figure in the public eye, but Carla chose to keep her life private, avoiding the spotlight. This decision helped them manage the challenges of fame and maintain a sense of normalcy in their family. Despite the demands of public life, they have always put their relationship and the well-being of their children first. However, this changed. The Ferrigno family faced a series of challenges. Carla Ferrigno was dealing with serious health issues due to advanced dementia. On top of that, Lou Ferrigno accused his daughter, Shanna, and Carla's sister, Pam, of mistreating Carla and exploiting her financially. He claimed they tried to get Carla to take out $500,000 from the bank, even though she wasn't well enough to handle her finances. Lou also said that Shanna and Pam had been lying to Carla about him, which had made her act hostile towards him. To protect Carla's interests, Lou asked the court to stop any financial transactions from Carla's accounts without his approval. He said this was necessary to make sure Carla's money was used for her care and didn't get wasted. In response, Carla accused Lou of similar things, especially when it came to money. She said Lou cut her off from their joint bank accounts and had been stopping her from seeing her family. To make matters worse, Carla claimed that Lou was having an affair with a woman named Lisa. Carla said Lou's infidelity wasn't the main issue, but when she got upset about it, he intimidated her physically because he was much bigger than her. She said he reminded her that he was the Hulk, which scared her and made her do what he wanted. Things got so bad that Carla filed for divorce from Lou. It was unclear how much Carla was involved in the decision to get a divorce, given her dementia. From steroids to natural fitness icon. A lot of fans wonder if Lou Ferrigno ever used steroids. Steroid use is common in the bodybuilding world, where athletes use anabolic steroids to improve their physical appearance and prepare for competitions. In interviews, Ferrigno has not admitted to using steroids for competitions, but he has acknowledged using them in the past. Interestingly, despite his own experience with steroids, Ferrigno does not support their use in bodybuilding. He believes they should be banned because of the health risks and complications they can cause. He stands firm in his belief that steroids are not a safe or healthy way to achieve fitness goals. Some people believe that taking anabolic steroids can help them become fit and healthy, but this is not necessarily true. Anabolic steroids are classified as Class C drugs and can only be obtained with a prescription from a pharmacist. Regular use of anabolic steroids can lead to physical and psychological changes in both men and women, as well as serious medical conditions. Ferrigno understands the dangers of steroid use, even though he used them himself in the past. He has spoken out against the use of steroids in bodybuilding and is concerned about the trend of young people using steroids as a shortcut to achieving their fitness goals. It's fascinating to hear from a legend like Lou Ferrigno about his views on steroids, especially because he's someone who bridges the gap between niche sports and mainstream pop culture. Ferrigno is clear that steroids are not necessary to excel in bodybuilding. While he acknowledges that some professional bodybuilders use steroids, he emphasizes that the most talented athletes in the sport would still be superstars with or without them. He believes that hard work, genetics, and mindset are more important than steroids, which simply add a freak factor to the sport. Ferrigno also feels that the mainstream perception of steroid use is exaggerated, similar to other notions about bodybuilders being unintelligent. He points out that most bodybuilders are highly knowledgeable about diet, nutrition, and training science, and that becoming a successful professional bodybuilder requires a significant amount of intelligence and dedication. Ferrigno's steroid use was quite apparent. He was on a large number of anabolic steroids, taking them as frequently as he ate meals. His training routine was intense, with full-body workouts six days a week, and sometimes even daily. He was known for his impressive size, standing at 6.5 feet and weighing over 300 pounds at his peak. Despite being over 70 years of age, Ferrigno still maintains an impressive physique, better than most people. His dedication to training and his supplements played a significant role in his success. He never gave up, 
and his determination continues to show as he remains in shape for future competitions. From bodybuilding to business, Lou Ferrigno has achieved impressive financial success over the years, amassing a significant net worth through his accomplishments as a bodybuilder and actor. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the American actor and former professional bodybuilder has a net worth of $12 million. His wealth is a result of his successful bodybuilding career, where he became known as Mr. Universe, as well as his work as a personal fitness trainer and consultant. Ferrigno's role as the Incredible Hulk on TV brought him fame and fortune. His acting career in TV shows and movies also helped him build his wealth. Throughout his career, Ferrigno's dedication to bodybuilding went beyond just competing. He also became a popular personal fitness trainer and consultant, sharing his knowledge and expertise with others. This not only helped him earn money but also increased his influence in the fitness world. In addition to his accomplishments in bodybuilding and acting, Ferrigno is also the proud owner of Ferrigno Fitness, a line of fitness equipment. This shows his entrepreneurial side and adds to his overall wealth and assets in the fitness world. The Ferrigno Fitness Equipment line offers a variety of top-notch fitness products made to help people reach their health and wellness goals. From strength training equipment to cardio machines, Ferrigno Fitness offers a wide range of tools for both beginners and experienced fitness buffs. By blending his years of bodybuilding and personal training experience with creative design and technology, Ferrigno has made his equipment line a trusted and dependable option in the fitness world. Thanks to his successful acting career, business ventures, and careful financial planning, Lou Ferrigno has reached an impressive financial status. His net worth and overall wealth are proof of his remarkable accomplishments in both the entertainment and fitness industries. During his career, Ferrigno trained people from all backgrounds, including athletes, famous people, and regular folks looking to get fit. His dedication to his clients made him a popular fitness trainer, which helped him earn a good income. Apart from training individuals, Ferrigno also worked as a fitness advisor. He teamed up with fitness brands and businesses to create effective training programs and products. His experience and fame as a former bodybuilding champion and actor gave him special chances to endorse and promote fitness equipment, supplements, and other related products. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.